Assalamualaikum. My name is Unko Arina Kahira Binti Mpuesha. So today I will show you how to key in the data uh, for the based on the questionnaire that have been conducted. So the type of statistic used in this uh, questionnaire is a dependent set, dependent weak data, which can be known as the pair, uh, which is the purpose is to compare the two dependent samples from a same group. Uh, which is uh, to compare the perceived stress scale before and after exercise among the students. So, uh, for this questionnaire, the scale will ask the respondent about how they feel and thoughts during the last month before and after they participate in the exercise. It consists of five score, which is zero is never, one is almost never, two sometimes, three fairly often, and four very often. So, uh, let's take a look at the example of this questionnaire, which is the section A will be demographic profile, and then the section B will be perceived stress scale before exercise, and then for the section C is a perceived stress scale, which is after exercise. So, there were a total of 51 respondents in this questionnaire. First thing first, we must uh, open the response in the sheet, Excel. So, here are the total score that respondents have been answered to each of the questions. Total of the respondent is uh, 51. And then, uh, after interpret the data in the Excel, I must uh, do the total score for each of the respondent to see the perceived stress scale among each of them. So, uh, let's key in the data in the SPSS. First thing first, uh, we go to the variable view. Which is one we set as the students. The second one is a pre-exercise. That one is a post-exercise. And then uh, we set the decimal point is uh, to zero. Same as well for the pre and post. And then the measure we set uh, for the student is the nominal. Uh, for the pre and post-exercise scale. Okay, so we go to the data view. Now we must uh, key in the number of students, the number of the student the, of the respondent towards my questionnaire, which total of 51. Okay, I will show the example only for 10 respondent. So, uh, here are the pre and post exercise total score for each of them that I have calculated based on the uh, based on the Excel and the, the range score based on the perceived, uh, perceived stress scale. Okay, so for the pre exercise, for the respondent one is 20 and 20. The total score for the second respondent uh, will be 24 and 22. This one is 20, 20. This one is uh, 26 and post is 24. This one is 20 and 7. This one is 26 and 22. This one is 20, 20. This one is uh, 18, 20, and this one is 20, 20, this one is 20, 20. Okay, so uh, we do it until, uh, until 51 of respondents. Okay, so I have key in all the 51 of respondent in the SPSS and now we, we want to check the difference between these two samples. 
post and pay as a side itu juga transform complete variable and we put it as a difference and then post as a size must be minus with the pay as a size okay so here is the difference between these two sample and now we want to run the normality of data we go to the uh, analyze descriptive statistic explore and we go to the difference plot uh, make sure we put as a normality plot with test continue and okay okay so now as we can see the p value is less than 0.05 which is 0 0.000 so the test of normality is not normal so we need to refer to the skewness and kurtosis in order for the value to be normal the skewness must be in a range of zero kurtosis must be in three so uh, in this case we will use a non-parametric and the test type is with Poisson. and now uh, we go to the analyze non-parametric test legacy dialog and two related sample and then we go to the pre-exercise as the variable one uh, post-exercise as a variable two and then you push as a new console press ok uh, so as we can see the result is 0 0.000 which is less than 0 0.05 where the result is significant where we are able to reject the null hypothesis so in conclusion we can conclude that there is a significant evidence that the post exercise and the pre exercise on the perceived stress scale among the student thank you